Today in this quick tutorial we're going to look at how we can achieve the result that we've got on the screen here which is where we have some tab with the notation above it and some text underneath the tab. Now we're going to quickly look at the problem and then go through the solution. I'll have links in the description if you want to quickly skip ahead. So let's start off with the problem. So let's say we start off with our tab and we can put text in above the tab using the text button and we can also put in lyrics and we can put lyrics above or below the stave but there's a problem with that so if we open up the style sheet and we go to text and styles scroll down to lyrics if I want to have the lyrics above the staff I can put it up here if I want to have the lyrics below the staff you can set it to below the staff here in the text settings we can put it there but we can't get the lyrics below the tab or we can, but there's a problem with that. So if we close this, go into track. Now if I turn off notation, we now get the lyrics text below the tab. But what do we do if we want to have the notation and the lyrics text below the tab? Well, that's what we're going to go through today on how to solve that. So we're going to copy and... Sorry, start again. So the first thing we're going to do, so in order to make the solution work, we're going to have to create two instruments and then we'll show them at once. So let's create the second instrument, like this. We're going to delete the instrument name, otherwise we end up with the instrument, um, but two instrument names showing, which we don't want. We want it to look like one instrument. So this is what we now have. So let's copy and paste the tab to the second instrument. Now, if you're working with a big tab and you have lots of text, you're going to want to go into the edit menu, special paste, and under attributes to paste, make sure texts here is turned off. We don't want all the text on the second tab. So we've now got our second tab like this. We will take the lyrics. I'm going to want to make sure the lyrics are on the second instrument, not the first. So let's open up that. Copy and paste the lyrics, go to the second instrument, paste the lyrics in there, go back to the first instrument and let's delete the lyrics. Now in the first instrument we're going to turn off the tab and in the second instrument we're going to turn off notation. So we're nearly there now, now we need to just tidy things up. So we want to get rid of these uh, rhythm marks in the tab. So let's open up the style sheet, go to notation, and where it says position in tablature voice one. Let's make that hidden. And where it says display circle around half and whole notes in tablature, let's turn that off. Let's apply. And this is looking much tidier. Now the last thing to do is just to remove these guitar names. So let's click on turn off the visibility for both of them and now we have a tidy guitar tab with the text underneath the tab like we wanted and finally if we want to put a bracket around the tab we can open up our style sheet go to system stays brackets group similar instruments and now we have a nice bracket around our tab so when we print it or put it into a PDF it's kind of like one instrument but in actual fact, to make it display like this, we have had to use two instruments. So that's how you do it. Hope you find it useful. And if you're interested in my book, I have a book called How to Practice Guitar and Train Your Creativity, which is for guitar players of all levels and all genres, which goes through guitar practice and how to improve your practice. And there's a link in the description below.